Hey guys, Christo Garcia, My Swing Evolution. Today we are going to take a look at Francesco Molinari's golf swing. And it's pretty cool because we're going to look at an old golf swing when he had the standard tour issue modern swing. And then all of a sudden we see that he's got a classic swing. Yeah, he's uh, let his uh, left heel come up off the ground. And boy, he really played well with that 64 on Sunday to pick up a win at the Arnold Palmer Invitational. So yes, I am working hard getting ready for this Saturday's MSE Intensive. Whew, it's always so much fun. We did have a couple of people that had to uh, exit because of uh, it's, you know, it's St. Patty's Day weekend and a lot of people, you know, there's a lot of things going on. But we do have plenty of room. If you want to come on down, hit me up, Christo at MySwingEvolution.com. And also, man, I am uh, working on a new instructional video. It's going to be the best one yet. It's the best one. I, you know, it's pretty cool. So anyway, that's what I've been up to. And, uh... I rung in my 50th birthday. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? Where does the time go? But uh, I'm proud of one thing. You know, I rang in my birthday in pretty good shape. I'm 142 pounds. I've lost 50, no, 40 pounds. And uh, I keep peeling it off. I'm just, you know, eating better. And, uh, you know, I don't know if you guys know, but I used to be a personal trainer, so I know how to do this. And I'm um, thinking about maybe doing an MSC fitness thing. Tell me what you guys think about that in the comments. And if you have any comments about uh, Molinari Swing, please, you know, hit subscribe, hit a like if you like this video, and leave a comment. That's, uh, it really helps us YouTubers out a lot. So why don't we dig into Francesco Molinari's golf swing? Okay, guys, here we are. I wanted to take a look at a swing from a few years ago. This is Francesco Molinari's standard issue tour swing where he keeps his left foot planted please excuse the guy's arm on the right but let's take a look at this a couple of times because it's a darn fine swing the major elements of it are just fantastic and the one thing i'd say is you know i mean a lot of these guys are having back trouble you know so let's take a look at his hips first and see how much freedom he has in his lower body okay his hips aren't really opening very much. He's got a little bit, but he's really turning his shoulders against that lower body. Left heel is planted. His legs are nice and flexed. I mean, this, this is a dynamite golf swing. The basics of it are really, really fantastic. It's right on plane. He's got good hip depth that he's going to maintain, and he'll continue to turn through the ball. I mean, this is a major winner right here. This guy is a baller. Look at that low exit too. So that's a darn fine golf swing. There's, you know, not a lot that I could complain about there. You know, he really throws that that right arm. Look how he's got his right hand in the claw here. But we're going to see a full release of that right hand where he'll have a, a heck of a bow in the back of his right hand as that club clears his shoulder. You know, you can see that he really threw that thing. Beautifully struck right down the uh, center of the fairway, it looks like, with this little fairway finder. Good stuff. Well, let's take a look at his current swing a few times. I always like to look at these in full speed a couple times, or see the full motion at least. Look at that heel! What's up with that? Okay, so here we have him, okay, left arm parallel, and that heel is coming up. So in between club parallel and left arm parallel, he's letting that heel come up. Now notice his hips. He's going to let his entire core turn. He's not going to let his shoulders just grind against his lower back. He's going to let everything turn away and open a little bit. Beautiful. Now, he's going to make his transition. And I'll tell you one thing I find interesting is that heel, boom. Yeah, it gets planted about left arm parallel again. 
it almost seems like it takes a long time for that thing to get replanted. But that's just, that's beautiful. Left arm parallel. He's in his squat. Now this is going to really, oh man, his feet are still planted. That's another beautiful thing in his swing. You don't see him jumping off the ground. Um, he's still using his ground forces, but you know, these guys that jump and twist these long ball hitters, yeah, I'm not a fan of that footwork. This footwork is outstanding. Again, we're talking about an uh, open winner, Arnold Palmer invitational winner. And essentially, his swing is the same. I'm not going to say it's hardly any different than it was. And he just he's rolling the ankles. So he's doing it right, I'll tell you. If... I couldn't uh, be asking him to do much better. Look at this beautiful, long, Hogan-like extension. I think that he may be even more dangerous now. And uh, he's probably prolonged his career, which is something I'm really happy about. That's what all my fitness is about. I, I'm not ready to throw in the towel. I feel like I'm 28 years old. I look, I'm in the same body I had when I was 28 years old. You know, maybe even a little bit better. But, you know, anyway, I'm glad that he's doing this to prolong his career. Look at that heel lift with this iron. Looks like he maybe has like a, maybe a six iron or something. Take a look at this again. Yeah, so I start to lift around five iron. You know, my heel comes up a little bit. I believe this this replanting helps you know for sure where where the bottom of your swing arc is, where your bounce point is, as I'm calling it nowadays, where that club's going to rebound and come back up. He's got a beautiful address position, by the way. He's he's absolutely textbook, you know, for what I teach. You know, he's got a fairly wide stance, ball off the left side of his head. He's got a fairly neutral grip. It's not too strong with this iron. I do teach a stronger grip with my uh, driver. But look at this position here. Heel is coming up. And now he's going to go down and get it as he presses left and falls left into that left leg. The, uh, the thing about this heel lift, and you'll watch, I mean, Nicholas and Tom Watson, they would lift on like a nine iron. I mean, it was kind of crazy. I don't really lift with my wedge shots and precision shots. But Tom Watson said, I remember I went about five years and didn't miss a shot. You know, he said, I didn't hit them all exactly where I wanted, but I didn't hit one fat or thin for over five years. And I think that when you get this going, you can really hone in where you're throwing that club to because you're bracing on that left side and you know for sure when you de-weight that left leg that when you plant into it that you know where your center of gravity is going. The club head's release is related to where your center of gravity is at impact. So that's why I'm a believer in the classic swing. That and the fact that I couldn't swing past here about I I I about when I, before I started the classic swing, I would say this is about where I got my five iron to on a good day, you know. But uh, well, he's got a more full shoulder turn than I even got then, even though he doesn't get to parallel. But I like his compact motion, and he doesn't have he he doesn't store a lot of lag. But I don't think, you know, it's kind of Nicklausian. Is that what you would say? Nicklausian? Uh, that he's very similar position to Jack Nicklaus, and he's releasing the club and just sweeping it off of that tee. But yeah, guys, you know, I really recommend you fool around with this if you've never done the classic swing. Because when you keep both your feet planted, you never really get to know intimately how much your how your weight shift is moving and and you know a lot of people talk for a long time it's like oh you don't want that but when you get older you need that 
I personally hit the ball better with the classic swing, and it looks like Molinari does too. So all of a sudden, Francesco Molinari, you got a new fan in Cristo Garcia, and I'll get you some limoncello the next time I see you. So in the meantime, I hope you guys hit them long and hit them straight. Guys, so let's cut to the chase. Here's my old golf swing. And here's my new golf swing. Five years ago, I started a YouTube channel and I wanted to improve my golf swing by using Ben Hogan's five lessons. Well, guess what? It worked. And along the way, I picked up over 8 million views on YouTube and I learned how to shoot under par. Unbelievable, right? Well, the great news is I have a brand new instructional video called The Hogan Code. In this video, I break down everything that I learned over my long journey to learn to swing like Ben Hogan. And now you can learn the very same techniques that I used to become the golfer I always wanted to be.